my channel. Welcome to another makeup tutorial. We're going to do a top through video in this tutorial mainly because I have some brushes that I'm going to be featuring in this video and it's going to be a little bit easier to explain them and talk about them um, while doing my makeup as opposed to trying to fit everything in on a voiceover. So we're going to be doing this kind of like mauve dusty rose kind of pink I look with this like pink liner a lot a lot a lot of new products we're gonna be doing or using in this video so that's another reason I wanted to talk as well to give you guys some of my thoughts and opinions and everything like that it will just be the eyes and the lips because the face I'm gonna be doing another review on so you'll see that video probably after this one or before I don't know whichever one I decide but if you guys are interested in seeing this video then please keep on watching Alright you guys, so as always I'm going to start by priming my lids. I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer that's on the back of my hand. And I'm just going to use this Dew Color brush. I've had this for about a year. And I'm just going to pack that all over the lid. I am going to take a little bit more of that concealer, which always ends up being a lot. Because this concealer is extremely, it comes out so fast. but. Oh my gosh. But I'm just going to pack that all over the lid. This is going to hide any discoloration or anything on the lid. And then also prime for the eyeshadow. So after getting a smooth canvas, I'm going to set that with the NYX Translucent Setting Powder and the Sigma E50 Large Fluff Brush. So the reason I set my concealers now nowadays, because remember I used to not set them, is because I feel like the eyeshadows will literally do glide on so much smoother. It's not a, a hard tug. Um, my eyeshadows are still very pigmented. But I just feel like it just, it just goes a lot smoother when you set it down as opposed to leaving it tacky. I like to leave it tacky for, like say, my eyeshadow base, like if I cut out my crease or something like that. But other than that, absolutely not. Always, always, always set it down. So some of the eyeshadows that we're going to be using, well all of the eyeshadows that we're going to be using are from Dose of Colors. I recently got back on their PR list, it was on their PR list back in 2016 and then like it got, I got lost in the shuffle and then I just reached out to them again and they were like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. So they sent me a huge, huge, huge generous package. So you'll be seeing them in this video and then you'll probably be seeing them on like Friday or something like that. Or no, you'll be seeing them pretty much all week. Um, but the first palette I'm going to go in with is the Baked Browns palette, which looks like this. I was actually excited when this came out. There are five different shades ranging from light to dark, and I'm going to be using this middle shade, which is called Outdoorsy. And it's a really nice kind of like, like a skin tone transition shade. It's not very, very, very warm, but it's also like warm enough to where it can peek through, but not overpower the pinky hues that we're going to be going in with. So some of the brushes that we're going to be going in with are, well, all of them are from the Stilazzi brand. I use their eyeliner in the Makeup Shayla um, ColourPop video, and I was thoroughly impressed by that. This is a new brand to me, but this brush is the L2 215 and this is a part of their Artesian Lux collection so it is um, pro quality 100% natural hair and handmade and then I have the other line which is the studio the studio series which is vegan but I'll be using that line in a separate video at a separate time but so far so good with these brushes I haven't experienced any shedding or anything like that and they're fairly inexpensive so they're about the shade or the price range of the like they're kind of in between like a Morphe and a Sigma so this brush that I just used the 215 is eight dollars so this brush is only eight dollars and it's large and fluffy so you can use it to blend out in the crease the next palette we're going to go in with is the Marvelous Mauves because the baked browns, I'm pretty much done with that one. I'm going to do another look using that palette probably some other time um, because next week is going to be my Shayla ColourPop palette series week because people should have their palette by then so I'll do a week long video um, of videos using that palette. I couldn't do it this week because I had a lot of things to review and a lot of things to get up on my channel but next week I want to do a one palette series using that one so you'll see the baked browns the following week so early June early June but we're gonna go into this palette and I'm going to use the shade spaced out which like this they also ranging from light to dark in the mauvey rosy hues and the brush that I'm going to be using is the color blend it's the L 
211 brush, which is also $8. And this one's very similar to the E25. It's also really firm, so you can also use it as an eyeshadow brush, but it's technically a color blend brush. So this is going to go right in the crease. It's not, say, as fluffy as, um, what is it, the M443 or something like that? That's a little bit more fluffy. This one's a lot more dense, so you're going to get a lot of color payoff onto the lid, but you're also going to be able to lighten the pressure to start blending upwards. So with this space to out shadow, I'm just going to focus this in the crease area and also out into the outer corner. And this is going to be the middle shade. So this is the shade that peaks between the deep, deepest and darkest shade and in between the crease or the uh, transition shade that we applied. So there's always going to be like a brow bone color, then there's going to be a transition shade. Then there's going to be a crease shade and then your deepen slash um, um, darken shade. But you can always just go in with the crease shade if that's what you're comfortable with. You can use like this color or like a mid-tone brown or something like that. That would be really nice. So the next shade out, sh shade out, shade out. <laughs> the next shade that we go in with is the shade called Wine Stain. It's a really deep, dark berry maroon. And I'm also going to be using a pointed crease. This is a 218 and L218 which is also eight dollars so all of the eyeshadow brushes are eight dollars and then once you get into like the um, the face brushes those are going to be a little bit more expensive but this brush is a lot more fluffy than the second brush that we use so it's a lot fluffier than the 211 so it, it'll help to blend this shade out but I'm gonna keep this shade really low into the crease and also start to blend this out. I love, 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 love this color. I was thoroughly surprised at how much I was going to love this shade because I thought it wasn't gonna be as dark as it is, but it is. So right now, I kinda have like a harsh line out here where this wine out shade is. So I'm gonna take the um, 211 brush and a little bit more of space out and just go right over the top and I'm just gonna use this to start to blend out wine out. Just merge the two shades together so they're a little bit more blended. And now I'm gonna go back in with more wine out and just put that right into the crease just to deepen and darken it. So now we're gonna go on to the fun part which is the lid shade. So they came out with these I ideal duos which looks like this so the top part of it has a like a um, cream shadow and then the bottom half has a pigment on it which is so so cool like I love 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 working with pigments but I always need a base however in this video when I did this look I accidentally used my Mac Pro Longwear concealer so that is what I'm going to do for this Hat this side as well just so that I will, everything stays the same but I will use the cream shadow in the inner corner but I'm going to use my E15 flat definer brush from Sigma and just cut out the crease this is going to give it a lot more of a sharper edge however if you do want it to be a lot more smoky and blown out you can just apply this right to where the um, concealer is and then just blend it all together and it'll give you a lot different of a look less cut crazy but you guys know that that's my thing so that is what I'm gonna do on this side so it's kind of hard to talk and cut the crease <laughs> so I couldn't really talk but I'm just gonna apply a little bit more of wine out right over the top because I really want that to peek out There we go. And now I'm gonna go in with this Ideal Duo. This is called Sticks and Stones. It's like a mauve kind of pink color. And the brush I'm gonna go in with is the same brush that I use in the Shayla ColourPop tutorial. It's the 210 brush. This is also $8. And I'm going to pack this all over the lid as well. And it's great because this concealer is still tacky, so it's gonna the eyeshadow or the pigment rather is going to have something to stick to and adhere to but if you really 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 want your pigments to pop 
You can spray them or wet your brush with like some Vicks Plus or any type of setting spray, any type of watery consistency. Spray your brush and then go ahead and pack this on and it'll give it a wet kind of foiled, um, very, very, very intense look. So now that I'm done with that, I'm going to take more of Wine Out, which is the darkest shade, right? Yeah, Wine Stain. Why do I keep saying Wine Out? And I'm just going to go along the edge here and just try to kind of bring that in a little bit so it doesn't go as far out. And then we are going to go in with the liner. So I just got these as well, obviously. These are the um, Set the Tone Cream Matte Eye Color, which are liners. And there are 10 different shades, um, ranging from like nude colors to pinks to wines to berries, a bunch of different colors. It really would have looked nice if I did the berry color, but I've never done pink liner. So I'm gonna have to do a different look, doing more of like lighter pink tones with the berry liner. I think that's gonna be so so, so poppin', but I'm gonna keep it in the pink hues, a lot more soft, a lot more elegant, and I'm going to use another Stellazzi brush. This is the Angled LO5 brush, which is also $8, and this is what the um, gel eyeliner looks like. It is a more, more moussey texture. So it's moussey and it feels wet, and then it finally settles down, so really, really, really cool. I always start in the middle of my line. I don't know why. All right, so now that our liner is popping, I'm gonna apply a little bit of mascara and then I am going to come back on for the lower lash line and also the lips. I'm not sure if I'm going to actually put anything on the lower lash line because I kind of want it to be pretty soft. Right now I'm just using my Tarte Tartiest Lash Paint Mascara just to kind of comb through the lashes because this has a comb. My lashes are extremely, extremely curly so I need something that's going to comb as opposed to um, like lengthen or anything like that, although this does lengthen. But, oh. Did I get any on the liner? I hope not. But yes, I'll be <laughs> I will be right back with the lips and whatever else I decide to do. All right, you guys. So back with the lips. I'm going to start by using the Downtown Beauty Lip Liner um, by NYX. Just, it's just a normal brown lip liner that I like to use. Because I'm going to go in with a different kind of lip color today. And I just want to kind of ground it a little. And the first thing I'm going to go in with is the Dose of Colors. These are the... Oh, I forgot what these are called. They're like the sticky lipsticks. This is the shade Mocha. And if you can see like what I meant by like grounding it is making it not appear too bright. So it gives my outer edge kind of like still that natural appearance. These are really nice. Moisturizing as well. I really like this shade. It's kind of like a mauve kind of color, which is going with the tones of the eyes. But I am going to use a lip gloss as well. This is their Stay Glossy Gloss in the shade Seriously, which is pretty similar to this lip color. Yeah, it's like identical. So yeah, you guys, that's it, that's it. That completes my look. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe before you go, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, y'all. <laughs>